Hello y'all, I hope everything is great. Wanted to begin by wishing everyone an amazing, amazing Shabbat, last Shabbat of the year. Happy New Year as well. The Torah begins in this week's Torah portion, which is actually the beginning of Exodus, as we just finished Genesis. So we're beginning embarking on a journey through the second book of the Bible, known as Exodus. And the beginning of this week's parasha, we talk about the unfortunate happenings to the Jewish people, where Pharaoh, who was, you know, around 10 years or so back, great to the Jewish people, is all of a sudden changing his whole attitude, starting to put them into slavery, which is going to lead us to the story of the eventual 10 plagues on Egypt, and then our ultimate exodus of leaving Egypt. And in the beginning of this week's parasha, when it discusses Pharaoh's concerns and why he's enslaving the Jewish people, we actually say in the Bible we read how Pharaoh said Havan es chak malo. He says we got to go and outsmart the Jewish people let's make sure that they don't outnumber us and thereby take over and create a revolution and the Messiah Isharim which is written by the Ramchal his, it's an acronym for his real name Rav Moshe Chaim Lutzato he uses this phraseology from what Pharaoh says Havan es chak malo, how he spoke to his advisors to make sure to outsmart the Jewish people and uses that as a reference to us to always premeditate and outsmart the Yitzhahara, outsmart the evil inclination and sort of plan beforehand so that we are able to withstand any tests being brought upon us by the evil inclination. And the question is, and the question arises, why Pharaoh is as, is, why are we using Pharaoh as the, so to speak, symbol of where we learn and where we know of staying away from, you know, not planning, but rather becoming somebody who's going to plan out what, you know, happens in his life and therefore be able to create for himself uh, a plan to be able to withstand tests. And it's a great idea and we all believe in it to plan to be able to stay away from the evil inclination. But why from Pharaoh? Why not from Joseph as a perfect example a couple of weeks ago who he withstood temptation and he's one of, you know, one of ours so to speak as opposed to Pharaoh who's an evil person. And I believe that the answer to this question lies in a Gemara, in a piece in the Talmud at the end of Tractate Brachot. The Torah tells us over there that when a person becomes about tshuva, when a person comes back to doing tshuva, connecting to God and leaves his other way of life, then he stands in a place, the words in the Talmud are used as follows, that in a, that about tshuva, such an amazing person, even the most righteous person can't stand in, so to speak, stand in his shoes because he's in a much greater place. And the explanation given is that a person who becomes a Baal Tshuva, his, the Talmud also tells us over there, his Averot, his sins, all become Zuchuyot, all become Merits. And the reason for that and the reason for him being in such a great place is that he had so much passion and drive to do the wrong thing in life and it was always, you know, the force, unfortunately, that we can use when we're doing something wrong, the passion for temptation, for a sin, can be much greater than the passion used for a mitzvah, than used to do the right thing. And the bringing that back to the story of Pharaoh and why we use that as, so to speak, the symbol of us being able to premeditate and plan to not fall into the evil inclinations temptations is to show us that the passion that Pharaoh had was his evil brought on an amazing level of passion, an amazing fight. He stood up to nothing. He st nothing stood in his way. Plague after plague after plague until literally you know, almost all of Egypt was being killed. That's like even then he didn't break. He ran after the Jews a couple of days later. And we have to take that passion and as we titled this video, Drive the Passion in the Right Direction. And that's the point, that we're supposed to premeditate and plan and drive our passions to learn from evil, to drive our passions in the right direction. Have an amazing Shabbat.